companies MMIT and Bango recently went into a partnership to change the face of online and mobile payment in Nigeria and Africa by introducing M-Content to enable online and mobile payments for goods and services offered on international social commerce websites. ABN's Keisha Guitari met with MMIT COO Kim Fraser to find out more. MMIT is a mobile software company and uh, online software company and really focusing on the electronic transaction space. So, you know, we've put together some products that we feel are good for the African market, the Nigerian market, because they overcome some of the hurdles that are currently faced in that space. So, enabled to, to, for us to do this and to create, a, shall we say, an ecosystem which is good for everybody, we decided that it's important for MMIT to partner with other organizations that are currently in this uh, electronic space. So Bango is one of the companies that we have signed an international partnership with. And it's a, it's a partnership that allows both companies to uh, benefit. So with Bango, it gives them a reach into the African continent. So it allows them to now start processing transactions and payments for the, in, the, in the African market space. It gives MMIT the reach internationally. So through Bango, we have now uh, created a much larger space for people in Africa and Nigeria who want to engage in online transactions and purchasing content. Several companies internationally do not accept payments from Nigeria and from a few other African countries. In your opinion, what are the issues with this and why? Well, the biggest problem with, shall we say, electronic payments or credit card, debit card payments from the continent of Africa and in a few regions in particular is the high level of fraud that is associated with these uh, methods of of payment from, from the continent. And e even if you are an uh, uh, international visitor coming into this region and you're using your credit card or debit card to make electronic payments or to pay for hotels and everything, you have to be very aware of and careful of how your, uh, your, your cards are uh, utilized because it's, it's a common and it's a known fact that you know, uh, people try to get a hold of these, these numbers and then use them for fraudulent purposes. So this is a major risk and you know, as, a, as merchants and, and companies uh, abroad, they, 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 they are very much aware of this high risk factor associated with using those payment mechanisms from this part of the world. Drawing on from what you just said, I mean, how do we address these sentiments and change them? Well, MMIT has de designed their platform around these hurdles, shall, shall we say, that are experienced for this market. It's uh, to get around this rejection of payment from the traditional payment methods, such as credit cards and debit cards, but also to allow a much wider uh, segment of the population to, to be able to engage and make these tra transactions because they won't need credit cards and debit cards to be able to make these payments. What they will need is to have an account, a mobile wallet account, it doesn't have to be an MMIT mobile wallet account. It could be a mobile wallet account with one of our partners. And then these transactions will be allowed to take place with the international content pro providers without any headache. In your findings, what is the estimated number of Nigerians that are able to use and enjoy the various social commerce sites like Facebook and Skype and iTunes? And how is MMIT driving those consumers to the M content product? What we've been able to determine is with Facebook, there's approximately 24 million registered users in Nigeria alone that have Facebook accounts. Probably about 5 million of those are active users on Facebook. Skype, we see there's approximately about 4 million registered Skype users within Nigeria. Uh, and on the Android space, we, we determine there's approximately about one and a half million users that are using Android products here in Ni Nigeria. Uh, Blackberry, we estimate there's around three million users of, of Blackberry in Nigeria. And in the Apple space, we see approximately about two and a half million 
users that are engaged in using Apple products and accessing Apple Store and iTunes Store and, and this type of thing. So this is where we see that's the initial stage of the market. But of course, what we see is that that's going to grow a lot larger than what it is today. Currently today, the Nigerian government is putting a lot of emphasis on the development and the growth of broadband in the country to foster economic development in, in the country. So once more and more people within the, in the country start getting online, whether it's using smartphones or PCs or iPads or going to their uh, local cyber cafe to do these types of things, uh, that, that is going to grow from uh, there. And the fact that you don't need credit card, you don't need debit card, and you don't need to have a bank account to be able to use MMIT's platform, we see that we will be able to push to a lot larger numbers than what we're seeing today. Looking at the reception of Nigerians to new technology, we see that we haven't always been very fast to grasp it. We've only just been on GSM for about a decade now. With regards to the M content and MMIT as a company, what has your reception been like? The first thing, I'll disagree with you on this slow to pick things up, Keisha. Uh, I've been in the te technology space, the telecommunications space in Nigeria for over 10 years. When I first came to this country, there was only about 500,000 working phone lines in Nigeria. Today, we have approximately 100 million working phone lines primarily provided through the GSM operators but with other players as as well. And most people in the early stages, if you go back to 2001, 2002, 2003, they were still believing that this mobile phone service would be relegated to the upper echelons of the society in the country. And what we have seen today is that everybody is using the mobile phone service. It doesn't matter if you're uh, uh, shall I say a roadside plumber or a mechanic or a driver, uh, somebody living in the villages where they have phone service, everybody has a phone. The value they put on it and how much they spend varies across the uh, spectrum, but they all use it because they've realized the change in value it has brought to their lives. So I think once we see a higher penetration in broadband rates within the country and more and more people start utilizing uh, online tech technologies and mobile tech technologies to facilitate things in their life, I see that it's definitely going to grow and people will adapt. And I, what I've seen in this country is Nigerians are actually quite quick adapters to new developments and new technologies. Certainly there's been some barriers put in their way to be able to access those. But once the access has been provided, they do quickly adapt and start utilizing the, the tech technologies to their fullest advantage. Looking at growing MMIT in Nigeria, what other technological advancements can we hope to see from you? What new products do you have on the horizon for us? We have uh, basically three proprietary products and then one general product. We have our M content product, which is what we're primarily discussing today. We also have an M merchant product and an M diaspora product, and they're all proprietary products that were developed by MMIT. We also have a mobile wallet uh, product as well. But what we see going forward is once we've launched com commercially and we start doing tra tra transactions, we do understand that what we will have to do is improve that experience for the people who are going to use these pay payment mechanisms.